how to make sure your business is fail-proof in today's new normal. The problem is, is that no one's business is ever really prepared for a major shutdown, but here we are. Most businesses today, small businesses, are being halted with no clear view as to when they could reopen. Today isn't the time to sit back and blame the world for your problems. Today isn't the time to work harder on your current status, but today is the time to build a business that is fail-proof. Every business decision involves money. Don't you wanna make good decisions with your money and profitable directions in your business? I'm Marcia Reiner, fractional CFO and financial business strategist with Bella Financial Group. And I work with ambitious business owners to grow their profits fast in as little as 87 days using some really unique strategies I've stolen from the banking and business world. And I've been a business owner for years myself and experienced my parents' business and I've made and found tricks and tips that I use to help my business owners. And the first tip uh, I think is so important for you is that business owners today are not developing a strong strategic plan. They, have their, they think that there's no use for a plan, but they only do it one time a year, flying by the seat of their pants each, each month thinking, okay, well, I'll chase the squirrel or I'll chase that uh, direction or I'll do what these folks are doing. And they find that they're off in different directions all the time. They're in a very reactive lifestyle. And I think that's wrong. I think the real place that we need to be is doing a strong, a strong strategic business plan. Many business owners think that it's just not necessary. It's a fluffy piece of paper that does nothing. They're too busy much too work, too much work to create, and then just to park it on a shelf somewhere. Oftentimes they're hating accounting. And they always think to themselves, why bother setting up non-realistic goals? Is that something sounding familiar to you when we talk about planning and strategies? It is with a lot of my clients that we have to overcome. And then there's some challenges that they have in, in thinking about a business plan is that they've, they've got their business under control. They say to themselves, but they really don't. They say to themselves, oh, my accountant handles my financial numbers. But who drives with blindfolds on when they're driving a car? If you don't understand your numbers, your financial numbers and what they mean in your business, you're driving blind. Another challenge that they have when it comes to planning is that they think nobody on their team is going to buy into that plan and they're just going to go on and they're going to put all this hard work into something that nobody's going to help implement. And then finally, what if they do do it? Then what? Well, what if I told you that if you had a master money plan in place, that you would have all of these things in place to help you understand your business and make great financial decisions? You'd have your value statement in place. You'd know exactly who you are and why you're doing what you're doing. And you'd be able to communicate that to your ideal client. That ideal client avatar, you would learn exactly where that client hangs out, what they want and what they need and where those two cross over. You'd be able to understand your competitive difference and how you stand out from the crowd. You'd be able to list down your key players, their metrics, and their roles, and you know exactly what your people are doing for you. And then you'd be able to find the right people to help you do it. You'd have a financial plan. You would know exactly where your money's going and what it's doing to improve your return on your investment. You'd have a sales strategy. That sales strategy would tell you exactly how you're going to work with your clients. The marketing directive. This marketing directive is everything when it comes to your business. How you're going after your, your potential clients, what you're doing, what are the steps, putting things in order, getting the right activities that are returning you the best um, effort for your, the best, the most money for the effort you're putting forth. Then you're going to have yourself a hiring outline as to what are the next players you want to have on your team. You'd have all of this and you'd have an expectations calendar. You would know exactly when things are due and what you would have to do to get those things done. And then of course, 
accountability is really truly everything. Even if you're working on all by yourself, you've got to be accountable to someone. How about a tracking journey or journal? You'd have this journal handy so you would understand where you're supposed to be and what you need to do to have it on there. Did you realize this money master plan is your roadmap to the exact steps you need to achieve your goals? And then you would never have to worry about where you are or where you want to be in the future ever again. If you're curious about how to put a money master plan in place, click below on my money master plan workshop. Now this isn't for everyone. This workshop is designed for small business owners who want to grow their business fast and with ease. That makes it fail proof. I'm accepting applications to join in this valuable workshop and I encourage you to apply. And then if you fit my criteria as a strong, ambitious business owner who enjoys working to get to the goal and is okay working with a coach, then you might be my next success story. So again, I'm Marcia Reiner, financial business strategist and fractional CFO with Bella Financial Group, and let's make your business fail-proof.